Today, I'm going to show how to modify our flat seamer to stitch sweatpants or sweatshirts or hoodies. Those garments are relatively thicker than yoga pants or underwear, so you need to change some parts and do special adjustments to make machine run smoothly. The texture of the finished product varies greatly depending on the fabric, thread, stitch length, and handling of the operator. So please use this movie as a reference only. Today, I will use NFS6604 GFMH-H-V, 6mm gauge size. You can consider this adjustment and modification can be done for any of NFS6604 GFMH models. V stands for Various parts were included in accessory box for the versatility of the machine. So, if you purchase NFS6604 GFMH-H-V, most of the replacement parts are in the accessory box and easier to modify. For this movie, I used textured polyester thread for the top and bottom looper thread. I used a nylon thread for the needles. I will show stitches with several different kinds and thickness. Making garments by using flat seamer has two major advantages. Number one, smooth finish compared to joining fabric by overlock. And stitch by flat seamer is considered as higher quality garment. Number two, Save labor cost by making two operations in one machine by flat seamer. Two operations means overlock and cover stitch operation. Flat seamer can be done those two operations by one machine and one operator. I did eight modifications for doing this operation. Number one, I changed the needle size to number 90. Number two, I changed the auxiliary foot to T-shape, part number 17623-B, and strong pressure foot spring, part number 79623. Number three, I changed cloth guide to 26 642. Number 4, I changed the shoes, parts number 26640 and 26641. Number 5, I changed upper and lower knives to 7mm width. Number 6, I changed the looper front and back stroke bigger, about 2.4mm. Number 7, I changed the needle plate tongue, the part number 14605, for more looper thread. Number 8, I used lap former, part number 26672.
Okay, this is two six six seven one. This two six six four two. Two six six four five. Two six six five eight. Next regarding shoes. So standard shoe is like this. So the space is very about three millimeter. So I will change the shoes to this combination. So you will have more space in this area. This is showing how to change shoes for the pressure foot. Please check how I attach the folder 26631. Some customers making mistake attaching this part. Install the two shoes in parallel and adjust that the underside of the shoe is straight on the left and right. Otherwise, the left and right fabrics will be misaligned during sewing. Also, please make sure that auxiliary foot is moving smoothly. Please check how I attach the holder to 6631. This time, I am using 7mm width lower and upper knife. Originally, 8.5mm width upper and lower knife is attached for NFS6604 GFMH. For the thick material, I personally prefer 7mm width knife compared to 8.5mm width. In order to change from 8.5 to 7mm width, you have to change all those parts. I changed the looper front back stroke bigger, about 2.4mm. Please check our YouTube video for a similar gauge adjustment 2021 chapter 1 for more detailed information. Higher side of the tip should flush with the outer housing of the tool. Since I changed needle size to number 19, if the deflection of the needle is too big, both the needles and looper could damage faster. So I made change for needle front back stroke bigger to minimize deflection amount. Now needle is touching looper at the lower side of the looper. I changed needle plate tongue to pull out more looper thread. Part number is 14-605. For 5.2 mm gauge, the part number will be 14-604. This is to help increase the tensile strength and to make stitch looks good. As an additional idea, you can use the guide for the fabric on the left 
and cut only the fabric on the right. The guide part number is XG985. Screw is 87011 and washer is 75064. This sewing makes it easier to pull the left fabric to the right end needle and the right fabric to the left end needle. Left fabric and right fabric is overlapping for whole four needle width. This way of stitch could be better if you use different colors for left and right fabric. 